A man praying for a He looked at me like, what kind of human being is this? I said, yes, sir. Because I cannot continue to embarrass God with give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, for how many times? When he says, I open to the prayers of the righteous. There should be a point that I will say it's done. Say, can you see it? Yes. But me, I can't see it. Join me, you soon see it. Can you feel it? Yes. But me, I can't feel it. You soon feel it with me. Because every time you believe God, your faith will transfer the blessing into your account. That's how it works. Are you ready to praise God? For what God has promised. That is done. Are you ready? Are you ready to praise God this morning? For the things he promised. That people are still waiting. That's already done. That's why I sang that song in first service. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord. Look, it is a see what the Lord will do, what the Lord has done. What we're waiting for has come to pass. See what the Lord has. Why not lift up your voice and sing that song? See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we're waiting for. What we're waiting for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. I want you to picture it in your spirit that he has done it. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has what we're waiting for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Open your mouth and sing it with faith. Hallelujah. The Lord has done. See what the Lord crediting, emotional crediting, financial crediting, business crediting, career crediting, some crediting will be happening. Because you are thanking God for what he has done. He promised it and he has done it. It's as good as done. It's as good as done. Are you ready this morning? Let me just, while you're standing, if you can't praise God for what he has promised that has not materialized your faith is not complete. If 
your faith is complete, you will thank God. If that has not materialized. Are you following? So every time I dedicate people's baby, I do it with joy. Every time they say somebody has just delivered with joy and excitement. Amen. Because the person we are talking about, we're already paying tight on his behalf. Calling the things that be not. Before I ever bought a car in my life, I bought key holder. At least I cannot afford car, I can afford key holder. And I hung it in my room as a student, final year student in school. And friends will come in and see, very beautiful. They say, wow, why are you guys hanging that? I will say, that's the key of my car. One of my friends, one day, laughed. He said, school. Now that's, let's finish school first. I said, we, you see, you, you have to cook the tea on time. <laughs> Many of us, we do emergency thing. No, start on time. Huh? Start when? On time. And I kept telling, I said, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to struggle to have. And you know one thing, I bust my first car. Although it was a Volkswagen, but it's a car. A car is a car. So one day, after I bought the car, I told a friend, I said, you laugh at me that time. I bought my first car. As at that time, he has not bought his own first car. We're not competing, but I just want him to know that if it's going to come to pass, you have to believe it has come to pass. And you have to thank God that it has come to pass. Are you following me? So lift up your two hands before we sing this morning and thank God for those promises that you believe has come to pass. Mention them one after the other. Mention those promises that you believe has come to pass in your life. We're in God's presence. We're in God's presence. We're in God's presence. Thank Him for that job, that new job. Thank Him for that new salary. Thank Him for that new investment. Thank Him for that new business. Thank Him for that new family, that new baby. That new house, that new appointment. Thank him, thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Don't play the victim, play the victor. Don't play the victim, play the victor. Play the victor. Rejoice. Give him praise. Rejoice. Give him praise. Give him praise. Amen. So, do you have reason to dance this morning? Apart from what he has done, Apart from what has materialized, are there other things that you can dance over this morning? Yes, One of my sons in the ministry, and that's how God just changed his life. His son traveled and started doing well. And one day we were talking, he said, this boy has some challenges, blah, blah, blah. I said, man of God, oh my, it's a party already now. He said, Pastor, this is how you talk. I said, yes, that's, he, he has graduated from that school. He has found a powerful job. He's already established. So this one in between, that you can't pay a particular school fees or something at that time, don't let it worry you. It's a done deal. That was a done deal. Declaring the end, that's how God operates. If you can't see the hand, you can't receive the hand, you're just wasting time. Can you see the hand? That that business is already doing very well. Flourishing. Expanding. Left and right. You are, you are managing multi-million funds. Yes. It's expanding beyond your widest imagination. Yes. Because what we're waiting for has come to pass. Are you ready to dance over it? The choir will give us 10 minutes of praise. Powerful. Don't look at anybody. If you can come to the front, come to the front. Although we don't have much space. If you can go outside, go outside. Let it be between you and God. Dance over those promises that has come to pass. Are you ready? Dance over those points that has come to pass. You'll be shocked that from this moment, you begin to see miracles manifest every day in your life. In the name of Jesus. <laughs>